Hello, my name is Tyana Onumonu, and today I will be reading Gwendolyn Brooks' Infirm. Thank you so much for this invitation to read during this year's Brooks Day. It is one of the most prestigious asks that I've received in the last five years on the scene, and um, I just want to say that I'm grateful, just grateful to be here today. And um, Infirm. By definition, infirm is not physically or mentally strong, especially through age or illness. And I would like to translate this as just general mental illness or uh, mental difference. Mental health differences is how I, I like to say. Not, not a weakness, a difference. Um, it's very important to discuss this, this poem because it's Mental Health Awareness Month. At least it is right now. Uh, and... Um, you know, I struggle a lot with my own mental health concerns. And um, I have many friends and many loved ones who do as well. And um, we really needed this reminder from Gwendolyn Brooks. So, yeah. Everybody here is infirm. Everybody here is infirm. Oh, mend me. Mend me, Lord. Today I say to them, say to them, say to them, Lord, look. I am beautiful, beautiful with my wing that is wounded, my eye that is bonded, or my ear not funded, or my walk all a wobble. I'm enough to be beautiful. You are beautiful too. And um, this Mental Health Awareness Month is particularly stressful for me with this uh, global pandemic going on. Um, with constant warring and bloodshed and slaughter throughout the world, um, you know, with social media, we're just, I am more conscious of all of these things. And it is uh, making me more and more aware of just how infirm the entire world is and how infirm I am. And um, yet and still we persist. Uh, infirm came from the near Johannesburg boy and other poems published in 1989. And um, to close out, I just want to uh, thank you all again for inviting me here today. Um, thank you to the Guild. Thank you to Third World. And uh, also, I want to pay homage to two West African films who passed away in the artist community in the past couple years. Um, I didn't know them personally, but I feel it important to, um, to continue saying their name and spreading their legacy. So um, rest in peace to Leia Lemon and Miss Velvet. We love you, we're grateful for you, and you will never be forgotten. Thank you.